Germany built some of the fastest trains in the world, capable of running at up to 300 km per hour in regular service. But as we saw in part 1, passengers rarely get to see that speed. On most routes, trains run significantly slower. So why isn't 300 km per hour the norm in Germany? The answer lies deep in the way the network was built, a design choice that still shapes every journey today. Unlike Italy and Spain, which built dedicated passenger-only high-speed networks separate from slower traffic, Germany took a different approach. It wove new high-speed sections into its existing rail system. That approach meant ICE trains would share tracks with regional and freight services, make more stops and run on a timetable designed to connect across the whole country. More than 30 years later, that decision still defines how fast, or how slow, the ICE feels today. Germany also didn't aim for one top speed. Some lines were built for 300 km per hour. Others top out at 250 or 280. Slower lines were built to balance cost, geography and politics, often adding more intermediate steps to keep regional leaders on board. The result is a patchwork. A few stretches where trains can go full speed, linked by many where they can't. And because Germany's high-speed lines are part of the regular rail network, any delay can ripple across the entire timetable. More stops, only a few lines built for true high speed, and mixed traffic all combine to keep average speeds well below the train's potential. Even Deutsche Bahn's newest trains reflect this compromise. The ICE4 is certified for 250 km per hour and built for capacity and efficiency, not raw speed. At the same time, DB is rolling out the ICE3 NEO, capable of more than 300 km per hour. Together, they make it seem like DB still hasn't fully decided what the future of the ICE should look like. Italy's and Spain's approach delivers faster, more reliable trips. Germany prioritized integration, and that decision continues to set the tone for its rail network. There is one exception, the Cologne-Frankfurt line. It's a true high-speed corridor where ICEs routinely reach 300 km per hour, fast enough to replace flights entirely. So what's ahead for the ICE? In part 3, we'll look at the future of Germany's high-speed trains, from new rolling stock and routes to the plan to speed up the entire network.